Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's Mike Smith and Alice at Go Market. It's the 14th of November. Fantastic to have you along as we look at what's happening at the midpoint of the Asian session today. Just a refresh in terms of what happened overnight. We saw a choppy session for US equities. They started lower, but markets paired early losses to close near neutral across all the major indices. The Dow eking into green territory, the S&P and the Nasdaq just slightly below. We've got the Biden president, she talks imminent. And of course, the big headline act of the day is the US CPI number out this evening. US futures are mildly higher in early Asian trading. And Asian markets are surprisingly buoyant, generally up across the board. The ASX is up around 0.7%, with energy stocks responding to a pop up in oil price and materials, the two outperforming sectors. The VIX paused but was weaker overnight. And European futures are pointing to a positive open this afternoon. US dollar index continues to be range bound, but it pulled back a little bit. Gold bounced off monthly lows after really what's been a really tumultuous couple of weeks. Coal rebounded after a soft end to last week, and all continues to bounce off mid July levels. So, quite a positive day across the board for commodities. Bitcoin, that has been on a tear of late, pulled back from an 18 month high. Uh, but looks like a retracement rather than a reversal. So continued buying pressure may take it to 40,000. Worth keeping an eye on over the next few hours to see what the next direction is. And of end of earnings season, Middle East and the US CPI, which we've already referenced. We've got UK jobs, Eurozone, GDP and German economic sentiment also due later. Plenty for the market to think about today. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that look interesting. And we'll start with the Aussie US in the FX world, we'll have a look at the Aussie Kiwi, which uh, you can see over the last couple of days has moved nicely higher. On this 15-minute chart, you can see it's paused around this 108.49 with the next level up around 108.72. So around about 23 pips in this potentially, which is quite significant for this particular cross. We just put on a four-hourly chart just to take it out a little bit. And you can see the positivity in the AUD over the last few sessions, which is taking us up to this level now. And again, you can see the significance of this 108.50 level. If we look back here, it was resistance and support. Support late October. So this looks like a really important level. And so a breach of this level would be fairly positive for the bulls to push it up to R1 and maybe even R2 over a period of hours. On the ASX, we are like in Tyro Payments. I've talked about this stock before, but we appear to have a breach of a key level. We had this little retracement back from $1, uh, and now we're sort of got the buy-in back in again. Uh, this has a potential move up to around this 113 level, uh, and it, it, as it's trading at 103, that would obviously be a very healthy 10% return. Long-term, it's possibly worth a look as well. You can see that 200 MA is up around about that 125 level. Uh, but for now, we think short term is good. And this is our stock of interest for today. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.